Brick by brick, nearly everything in the world can be recreated with Lego. This building block toy stirs the imagination. And for model builders like me, just what is this rabbit hole that I'm digging myself into? Just what else can I do with it? It's just the most creative toy out there. Uh, I find that I can, anything I want to make, I can make out of it. So it's, uh, it's ubiquitous, it's endless, it's infinite. It's a great toy. The hobby attracts a lot of engineers and a lot of architects. Joseph is a graphic designer by trade, but Lego enthusiasts can be found anywhere, including your local high school. As a physics teacher, I thought, what a great way to have some fun in the class uh, by bringing in Lego things for the students to build themselves for, for labs and projects and stuff. They're not too interested in it at the high school age, uh, but as soon as I bring out the bricks, they're, they're all over them. Uh, one thing that we do every year is we build Lego catapults. And so the students have to build catapults that would launch a little, I call a little stunt bear, either the longest distance or with the most accuracy and stuff. And uh, it's, it's really neat to see the, you know, these students who are 16, 17, 18 years old become a kid again and actually uh, you know, build with the brick that all of us like so much. Reliving your youth is great, but there comes a stage in our lives where the things we fondly appreciate tends to take a back seat to other responsibilities. Almost every LEGO fan has that. The Dark Ages is usually when someone's a teenager and they stop playing with LEGO for X amount of years. There was a massive um, kind of uh, awakening around uh, 2000 when so many people discovered LEGO Star Wars. And then that was kind of the explosion. <laughs> Companies started out with uh, with wood toys, but uh, wood toys and really well crafted wood toys. And he started uh, to uh, add plastic and metal elements into the wood toys, and then gradually made a shift because there, the place kept burning down. I think there was three fires uh, in the workshops, and um, amazingly, it kept recovering. The company kept recovering, and then there was a, a shift to uh, they started making plastic cars, and then it slowly shifted into making these building blocks. Then over a course of about a decade in the 50s, uh, they started um, introducing all the different elements. And by about the 60s, uh, you had wheels, gears, and then slow introduction of people uh, into the 70s, and then into the late 70s, the minifig. And the minifig has been around for just over 30 years now. Um, and it's been kind of like the, the foundation of the, the current uh, Lego line. To further expand their product line, the Victoria Lego Users Group has their own company, Liaison. We give them feedback and then they'll also use us as a portal to give information back to the Lego community as well. So if a set announcement's coming out, they'll ask us to cover the community with the announcement, for example. This club produces museum quality exhibits, participates in hobby shows, and attends conventions. They're all over the world, but obviously it's difficult for us in Viclug to travel to the far away ones, so we typically try to see most of the local conventions as possible. Uh, well, we just had our crazy bender of a weekend doing Lego gaming, um, having lots of fun with the kids, um, a lot of big kids having a lot of fun, and. Um, Realizing that, you know, it's just a suggested age limit on the box. A lot of the time through hanging out at a local toy store, I can, you know, sort of give um, the younger generation sort of tips, tricks, and show them a lot of things that adults can build if they, you know, put their mind to it and dedicate. And as per usual, I tell them with any skill, practice makes perfect. It just happens that practicing means I get to sit down and play with Lego. Just like the brick, the connections that are formed are built to last. For some, it's more than just a hobby. Basically, this is me clinging to my childhood with white-knuckled intensity, raging Peter Pan complex through and through. It's just your thing. You, 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 know, you don't spend much uh, money on anything else except uh, Lego. Other people spend money on, on cars or motorcycles or whatever, but uh, I don't know, you just keep accumulating. And the nice thing about Lego is the stuff that was built 50 years ago still connects with the stuff that is going to be built in another 20, 30, 40, 50 years. So every time you collect something, you just have it and your collection just naturally grows. Basically, between all of us, we have one like sort of unifying like interest and that's the Lego brick. Whether we're collecting, 
whether we're building, whether we're just getting together gas bagging about what's gonna come out or what we wanna work on, we always have a common ground. Lego was the only toy I was ever really into. Like Hot Wheels cars a little bit, but it was definitely Lego. It was like all I ever wanted when I was a kid.